Report page tooltips are an excellent way to provide additional context without taking up your precious report real estate. Today we'll walk through the key steps to creating report page tooltips and adding them to both your visuals and your visual headers in Power BI. I'm Alice from Discover AI and I hope you enjoy this video. The first step is to create a tooltip page. But before we get started, let's take a look at the default tooltips. Let's select our shape map here and under the format pane, under the tooltip options, you can see that we've got a couple of options where we can update our format settings for our default tooltips. So we've changed our background color to fit the style of our report. But in my opinion, there's no substitute for report page tooltips which allow us to show a whole lot more information. So let's get started creating one. The first step is to add a new page into our report and under the format options, change the page size. I'm going to use the default tooltip size here. Let's also change the page view to actual size so that we can see how big our tooltip will be. Let's add a couple of cards to our tooltip to display the river catchment and our scoring metric information. Let's also rename our page and make sure to toggle on the tooltip to tell Power BI that this is a tooltip page. The next step is to assign report page tooltips to our visuals. So let's select our shape map and head back across to the tooltip options under the format pane. I'm now going to change the type from default to report page and select the map tooltip page which we just created. We can see our tooltip page for the given context, but I think we can make our tooltip a lot more interesting. I've copied our shape map into our tooltip and we can adjust our data colors. Let's also turn on the auto zoom so that the map automatically updates based on our given context. Let's add some more detail into our tooltip and head back across to our report page to check it out. Let's now take a look to see how we can add tooltips to our visual headers. Let's create another tooltip page and this time we're going to embed an animated GIF to show users how to interact with different visuals. I've formatted my page size using custom dimensions here. And again, let's remember to always flag the page as a tooltip page. Let's change our background color and now let's add the image custom visual and drag in our GIF URL. For more information on how to create and embed your own GIFs in Power BI, take a look at the links in the comments below for a link to our blog post on this. Heading back over to our report page and selecting my shape map visual, let's go to the very bottom of the format options and activate the visual header tooltip. We can now assign our navigation report page as the tooltip. And hovering over the visual, you can now see this new question mark icon in the visual header. When we hover over the question mark, this brings up our navigation tooltip. Let's take a look at a couple more examples of how creative tooltips can provide greater context and help users navigate your Power BI reports. Thanks a lot for watching and have fun adding your own custom tooltips into your Power BI reports.